I'm just really scared that something bad is going to happen. Hey guys, so it's been a little while since I've done a movie review, but I've got some time today, so I thought I'd talk about Smile. I watched this uh, last week and it was fantastic. It was a horror movie I'd been looking forward to for a long time, hearing a lot of great things about it, and it did not disappoint. I've got it on Blu-ray right now, but I did also order it on 4K because I loved it that much. I wanted to see it in the 4K. Um, I'm more of a 4K owner these days. My 4K player does upscale Blu-ray to a, a nice resolution on, on, the, on the big TV behind me, but 4K is really where it's at with the HDR and that crisp quality image. So I'm really looking forward to seeing Smile again in the, in the 4K. So it was directed by Parker Finn. Um, who's also done, let me just check his credentials, I'm just on the internet movie database as I do, um, he did a short called Laura Hasn't Slept, which also starred her, and I'll get through the cast list in a moment, but she is an Australian actress, um, and she was very good, but she was in this short, which goes for about 10 minutes, which, which is basically the conceit for what he did with, um, the movie proper, uh, what else has he done, um, the hide behind, so he's only done a, a few things, so this is really kind of like a, a sophomore effort and full kudos to him, man, because what he created with this film was superb. It's just like a, an old school supernatural horror film and I was here for a minute. I loved it. So the cast list is um, Sosie Bacon uh, plays Rose and she is the daughter of Kevin Bacon. Um, fan favorite Cole Gellner plays Joel. Jesse T. Usher from The Boys is Trevor. Uh, Robin Wiggett as Dr. Madeline Northcott and Caitlin Stacey as Laura Weaver. So Caitlin Stacey is uh, an Australian actress who I know primarily from Neighbours back in the day, but she is out there doing some um, some quality work over in the States. So it was really cool to see her again in this. Um, she's a great actress. Uh, and also starring Cal Penn as Dr. Morgan Desay. So I'm not going to go through the entire cast list. It's a pretty big cast. But everyone does really well in their roles. The suspense, uh, the performances, the horror, yeah, everything is conveyed beautifully. There's a great amount of tension and the story itself kind of builds out really, really well. I mean, it is supernatural. I don't want to spoil anything for you in case you haven't seen it yet, but there is a supernatural element to it. And it's creepy, like when the, the people smile and it's like some kind of a, a curse or like a smile curse, um, this creepy look appears on certain people's faces through the course of the movie and it's just um it's terrifying so the advertising campaign did involve actors being placed in certain high profile situations and just kind of when there, whenever there was a camera just smiling creepily at it and just kind of like drawing attention to themselves it was all part of the marketing and i thought that was pretty cool there was also a, a viral tiktok campaign where like a, cre a creepy figure just pops up behind you, um, pretty funny, and people like turn around and try to punch something and it's not there, and it was uh, Caitlin Stacy from from the cover. So it took me a while to realize that Sosie Bacon was actually related to Kevin Bacon and Kira Sedgwick. She looks a lot like her mum, and as we know, there's a lot of, well, it's the next generation of stars are coming up, and they're all children of actors that I grew up with, so I'm feeling pretty old right now old and vulnerable, but she was really good in the role. She had a lot of range. Uh, the terror and the horror she was feeling throughout was really, really well conveyed. She was quite believable in the role. And Kyle Gellner also turned up um, as the as the cop who's helping her with the, the whole scenario. But he's always really great. He was in uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Even though that movie kind of sucked, he was good in it. And he was also in Jennifer's Body, but to name a few. Uh, Jesse T. Usher. I was staring at him in the movie going, dude, where do I know this guy from? Where do I know you? I, every time I'm watching a movie, I will crack open the internet movie database and just kind of scroll and check as I'm watching. And of course, yeah, he's a train from The Boys, so it was really cool seeing him as well. And Caitlin Stacy, like I mentioned, um, didn't have a big role, but it was very important. Her role kind of sets the stage for everything that's to come in this in this movie. So overall, I highly recommend you check out Smile. It is fantastic. Like I said, I'm, I'm picking it up on 4K as well, so I cannot wait to watch this again. It's creepy, it's atmospheric, it's got some great jump scares, and it's just a lot of fun, man. It really is. So if you're considering picking it up, do so. Watch it. Um, I might get a comparison video up later on when the 4K arrives and tell you how that is. 
but for the most part, man, yeah, a solid recommend for The Smile. Check it out. Anyway, guys, so please comment down below. What did you think of the movie? Do you own it? Have you seen it on 4K? Let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget, like, and subscribe. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.